for the Cougars with 14 seconds left on the shot clock. And right now, Janika Martin's getting uh, most of the attention on uh, MRU's offense. You have to wonder if that's going to keep going up. Ellis Stanley with a big three there. I'm not going to lie, I did not think that would go in <laughs> tonight. Yeah, Claggett just does uh, has this tremendous ability to find the open floor, and uh, Mount Royal is just struggling trying to even defend her. Sarah Rensky with a long three there. Well, we less than 10 seconds to go. That's Gobey with the ball. Trying to make something happen. Finally decides to drive, stops up just past the elbow and gets a two-pointer to fall. Cascades did a very good job there, hanging on to the ball. The outside does not get hers to fall, but that was still grabbed by Parker. Back to Kabuko. Now it's just being passed around to Thompson. Thompson with a three, and she gets it to fall. And the Cascades coming alive from around the arc. Yeah. Broadcasting history mm -hmm. and watching these games this Seems season. Seems like this season there has been an uptick. I'd have to agree with you for sure. That's Abby Gillette, finds Rinsky. She goes for a three and gets Rinsky. it to fall. Sarah Rinsky puts up the first points for her team out here. So that's Martins, passes it to Engen. Down below for the lore, she does beat the Cascade player. Passes to Rinsky, now Engen again with a long three. Engen with a three. I don't know what came alive with the Cougars at the sideline, but threes have just been left to play here. That's Kobes, finds Kabuko. Looks like they're just going to hang on. Oh, no, never mind. That's Tukshara with the three. She's going to put it up instead. 